Tavis Smiley has been suspended from his PBS show. It was a shocker for us to hear that. And it, once again, there's another man is being accused of doing inappropriate things with women on the job. But let's roll his response to those accusations. We'll get into uh, what they're accusing him of. Hi, I'm Tavis. I was as shocked as you were to hear of PBS's sudden announcement regarding my television program. Let me say at the outset that I have the utmost respect for all women. And I certainly celebrate the courage of those women who've come forth of late to share their own truth. But let me also assure you that I have never groped, inappropriately exposed myself, or coerced any colleague in the workplace ever in my 30 year career. PBS launched this so-called investigation of me without ever even telling me about it. I only learned of this investigation because former colleagues, former staffers, started to call me to tell me they were getting a phone call from some PBS investigator asking, number one, did Tavis ever make you feel uncomfortable in the workplace? And number two, can you give us other persons to call? Only after threatening a lawsuit did PBS investigators agree to sit down and talk to me for three hours. And even then, their minds must have been made up because almost immediately after that session ended, this story broke in variety. PBS investigators refused to look at any of my documentation, refused to talk to any of my current staffers, refused to give me the names of any of my accusers and refused to give me any semblance of due process. It is clear that this has gone too far and I for one intend to fight back. PBS overreacted and they launched a sloppy investigation. It's time for a real conversation in this country about where the lines are about how men and women can engage each other in the workplace. And I look forward to actively participating in that conversation. Now, Tavis Smiley is being accused by PBS and say they had credible people to come up and make accusations that you couldn't work on the Tavis Smiley show unless you was having a sexual relationship with him. And if you did not want to have a sexual relationship with him, you would not get a job. And that is something that's crazy to hear. I mean, we've never heard anything negative about Tavis Smiley. He's always been very respected um, in the community, and um, he's always done good things. I've never heard him out here shucking and jiving or, or raccooning or whatever else. So he's denying it. And in my position with this, I can't just wholesale condemn have a smiley because he's not acting like a person that's guilty because you know when you are accused this is accusation i'm not gonna say oh yeah he did it he did it and trash him no 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 we should never do that because remember especially men that's listening anyone can accuse you of anything in this climate they go into is this you give a, a woman a compliment and that's considered harassment. Or if you laughing at a joke that maybe they told you, oh, I felt uncomfortable. So as I stated before, where are we going here? It, should men just start treating women like other men? And that's it? Because we don't engage other men the way you engage women. And like I said, women not going to like that. Because all men will get to that point because all men literally is on the chopping block with this. You're ruining people's careers. You're ruining people's companies. You're just firing people. And it's no criminal charges that's been pressed. I can understand if there was criminal charges being pressed on these people. I would get it. But it's no criminal charges, and you're just firing people. And if they're doing it to them, it can definitely trickle down to the everyday Joe that's going to work every day. Now, I always say that you should never put yourself in a position where someone can even accuse you of something like that. Don't put yourself in that position. Always keep your distance when it comes to being professional. Don't laugh with certain people on certain things other than what's just normal. No kind of sexual jokes, racial jokes, political jokes. Keep the joking out of the workplace because people get offended for anything these days. We have a society that people are worse than kindergarten children. They get offended for everything. They, 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 uh, feelings are hurt. I mean, and they're, so we have to literally respond in that manner. Now I feel it's a bigger agenda behind all this is going on. I'm trying to figure out this agenda, 
But people that's in certain positions do things they shouldn't do. And if you are doing those things, you need to stop. But when it comes to Tavis, no, I, I have to see more evidence than just accusations to make me say a bunch of things about Tavis Smiley because I've never heard, not one day, anything negative about this brother. And then my thing is everybody else is accusing, but who are these people that's accusing? Like, why are they being shown? I mean, nobody's saying that they were, you know, considered rape victims or something like that. That's different. But accusations, then show yourself, you know, go to court, do whatever you need to do to see if you have a case. But I just don't agree with just suspending people's stuff. But at the same time, when you work for these folks, black people, they can accuse you of things and then you lose your stuff versus if you work for yourself. And I get it. It was uh, Tavis Smiley Media in partnership with PBS to do his show. I get it. But still, PBS was still behind his show and they cut it. And without PBS, he didn't have a set. He didn't have a studio. He should have built his own situation up all over the years and then got out of the PBS deal. And then at that way, he could still continue his show. And like, I don't need y'all no more. I mean, that's how all of us need to be. You won't have job security if you don't build a job for yourself. Because these people are wishy-washy. It don't take much for them to get rid of you. Trust me on that. So let's see if more information come out about Tavis Smiley. I mean, I like to know. But it don't sound good. It, it don't. And who wants to be losing their job and everything if it's not true? Because he's saying it's not true. I mean, you heard what the man say. So it's two sides to every story. Hopefully we can find the truth in it all. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with Tavis Smiley. Share the video. Like the commentary. Subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell to find out when we post new news stories live streams.